Hello folks, we're here today connecting up a VIA DNA Rife system incorporating the latest GX generator from Spooky2. We're also going to be using two remotes in this particular implementation, although you might have one or two or even three or four. Doesn't matter, they all connect the same. This is the usual standard laptop used in the VIA DNA Rice system. It's a Dell, and these come in multiple colors. This one happens to be blue. It's ours. Most of them are going to be white. And here's some cables, a BNC cable, a power cable for the Dell, and there's the power cord for the generator. All right, so we're going to begin by connecting power to the generator. So my lovely assistant is going to show you exactly where it goes connected, right there. Very good. Okay. And now we're going to hook power into the Dell, which is that right over there in the back. Very good. And now we're going to power up the generator. We're going to power up the generator using the power button. Thank you. And there's the generator powering up. That's what it looks like. That's what the uh, display looks like when it's not connected up to the laptop. So now my lovely assistant is going to hook up the square end of the USB cable. You can see it's got two chamfered, it's not a, it's not a perfect box. These, these two little chamfered ends go up. Okay, there we go. And that goes right in there. That's the USB connector on the Spooky. Very good. All right, do you want to we're going to prepare the spooky for... All right, and now over here on the laptop end, we're going to connect the USB cable to the USB port on the Dell laptop. There it is. The next one over. Very good. That's it. Okay. All right, so... We're going to move this cable out of the way here. Okay, so here we have, we've got power on the generator, we've got power on the Dell, and the remotes, we'll hook them up in just a, just a bit here. We're going to open up the laptop. Now notice, this is very important, we applied power to the generator first, we're going to turn on the laptop now, second, from the power button next to the keyboard in the back there. Very good. And pretty soon here, we will get the Dell screen. Let me hit that power button again there. Okay, there it goes. All right, so while that's powering up, we're gonna come over here and hook up <clears throat> the generators. So notice there's a BNC cable for each remote and we're going to hook up the BNC cable to the output one of the generators. Okay, the BNC plugs straight in okay, into output one and the only thing you need to be careful is to make sure that the slots for the lock pin are lined up and there it is. And now turn that push it in quarter turn. turn clockwise. While pushing in. While pushing in. Same story with the other cable. The other cable. We're going to plug it in to output one. Okay. And then turn the collar. Okay, that's a little lock collar to keep the cable from. You have to push kind of hard. You know? It's okay if you push hard. You can be assertive. Same. Yeah, you can. You do you want to. You want to lock this in. Okay. And then, push, and then turn. And turn. Very good. And now the second one. And Make like sure. I said, you may have one, two, three, or four and generators. Line it up with this pin right here. That's the lock pin. 
Push hard and turn, same time. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have everything ready. And that's the welcome screen. It, may, it might be different pictures on different laptops, but uh, basically you just press the enter key. And we get the sign in screen and you're going to type in your pin. In our case, it's 2600. And as soon as you enter in the last number, uh, if it's, if it's the correct pin, the laptop will boot into the desktop. It's going to take a little bit here. Uh, for mo for all other rice systems, this is because this is ours and we put ours together about a year and a half ago, it's going to be 7433, which spells out R-I-F-E on a telephone pad. All right, so the desktop is uh, pretty clutter-free. Here in the upper left-hand corner is the Spooky 2 Still icon. the hourglass, yeah. Okay. And you don't want to do anything until the hourglass goes away right. completely. Yeah. Down at the bottom in the taskbar, uh, you can see the Spooky 2 little ghost right there. You can single click it, the program to start it from there. And then in the lower left hand corner, there's the start page. And you single click that and it brings up the start page. And here you can see the Spooky 2 icon to start the program. You can use any of these three methods. Okay. Most folks are probably going to want to double click the desktop icon, which is fine. So that's what we're going to do today. Double click, show me where, let me show where it is on here. Not that everybody. Until and the program the, will start. It'll show the hour. It takes a little bit of time to start. There it goes. It's detecting the generators. Okay. So that ends this uh, video, which is how to interconnect all the components. I guess we can wait till it you wanna pops it up. Yeah, to the Okay. Presets. It's gonna take a little while here. Not that long. All right. Okay, there we go. So here's here's the spooky two and yours user is, interface. Yours is not gonna look like that. It's gonna look pretty much like that. Okay. And down at the bottom is user. Okay. And that's where you're going to want to double click to find your particular program. Okay, that's another video. So watch the other video. All right. So thank you very much. This has been a video depicting how to interconnect the cables of the Via DNA Rice system and power everything up in the proper sequence. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a great day.